CSE SIS50 is a compact transportable cordless table saw for sawing various materials including wood, laminated panels and plastic. In this guide we will look at the different features, basic setup and tool adjustments. Position the saw and use the rubber feet to ensure that it's horizontal and level. Loosen the locking clips on both ends of the sustainer, then lift the sustainer hood upwards to remove it. The saw is delivered with some accessories that are conveniently stored in the roof of the sustainer. The items included are rip vents, angle protractor, dust bag, riving knife with hood, and riving knife without hood. There is also space for carrying spare blades. The table saw operates off two 18 volt battery packs. To turn the tool on, press the main power switch on the side of the tool and the LED display on the control module will light up. The following settings can be set and adjusted using the control module. Power on and off. Saw blade height setting. Saw blade angle setting. Pressing the large control dial twice will enter into the menu setting options. In the menu you'll find saw blade speed adjustment, saw blade change position, blade height calibration, blade angle calibration, and a reference drive. There is also some helpful information including a quick guide, factory resets, machine information and a language setting. Turn the dial to navigate to the required selection, then press the dial to confirm. To allow flexibility when cutting different material, the speed of the saw blade can be adjusted in six settings using the control module. The saw speed can be adjusted through the menu for the most appropriate speed for the material being used. Vestal saw blades are identified by a coloured ring. The colour of the ring represents the material for which the saw blade is suited. The height can be set depending on the cut height required. To adjust the height, press the height button on the top left hand side of the module and set the desired cutting height by moving the dial. Cutting height can be adjusted in tenths by pressing the dial while turning it. Press the angle button, set the desired angle on the dial. The cutting angle can be adjusted in tenths by pressing the dial while turning it. Four commonly used combinations of cutting height and cutting angle can be saved as favourites. A fifth favourite, P, which cannot be changed, is the park position which allows a hood to be placed into the sustainer when transporting and for removing riving knives. When wanting to set a favourite, adjust the desired combination of cutting height and cutting angle so that it shows on the display. Press the angle button and height button at the same time, then select on the right hand side the required favourite position with the dial. To select a favourite setting, move the indicator with the dial so that it aligns on the main screen. Then press and hold the dial until the saw blade position has been fully reached. There are two options for riving knives that can be used with a saw. For hidden cuts or grooves, there is a non-through cutting riving knife and for through cutting, a riving knife with guard. There are two ways of removing the riving knife. The first option is to move the saw blade to the park position with the control module in selecting the favourite P. Press the hex key into the opening at the back of the saw on the type plate, hold it there and pull the riving knife upwards to remove it. The second option to remove the riving knife is through the blade change cover panel. Firstly, lock the sliding table into the rear position. Remove the cover plate with the hex key that's located at the back of the saw. Press and hold the locking mechanism and pull the riving knife upwards to remove it. Fit the cover plate again. To fit either of the riving knives, push in from above until it engages. The saw has two methods for dust extraction, a bag and use of a mobile dust extractor. 
the bag can be secured at the extractor connector with a clockwise rotation. With a suction hose diameter of 27 or 36 millimeters, can be connected at the back of the saw. To fit a 27 mil hose, insert the hose into the adapter and turn clockwise to lock. The mobile table saw can be paired to a Festal extractor using Bluetooth batteries. To extend the working surface for rip cutting to 280 millimeters, the extension table can be used. Release the holding clamp and unfold the extension table upwards. It can then be placed back into its holding position by folding down the two arms. The parallel side fence can be fitted and set for rip cutting with the measurement scales. The stop rail can also be moved for angle cuts or when cutting thinner work pieces. The sliding table can be used in conjunction with the mitre fence for cuts up to 450mm. To release the sliding table, unlock the lever beneath the sliding table and it can now be moved forwards or backwards and used with a mitre guide. The sliding table can also be secured in two positions. A working position to have the full support when cutting wider materials and the rear position when requiring access to the blade change area. The mitre fence is fitted into the groove of the sliding table and can be fixed into place with the locking arm, then adjusted to the required angle. There are indexing points on the mitre guide at common angles. Once the required angle is reached, lock the rotary knob. The support rail can now be adjusted so that it has clearance from the saw blade or hood cover. An FS clamp can also be fitted to the sliding table where material is required to be fixed firmly into position while cutting. To change a saw blade, move the saw blade to the saw blade change position using the control module. Move the sliding table into the rear position and use the locking lever to lock it into position. Loosen the screw on the cover plate using the hex key provided and remove the cover plate. Remove the riving knife. Push the spindle stop button downwards and move the blade until it locks. Then loosen the screw using a hex key, which is a left hand thread. Remove the screw and flange and lift the saw blade upwards to remove it. To fit a new blade, the direction of rotation of the saw blade and saw must match. Insert the saw blade and then the outer flange. Note the labelling on the Festal saw blade cannot be seen while it's inserted in the correct position. Once in place, tighten the screw, which is a left hand thread. Insert the cover plate and screw into place. After changing the saw blade, if required, the cutting height can be calibrated. Start the calibration via the Calibrating Cutting Height menu item on the display. The display will step through the calibration process. Place a short waist strip on the sliding table and use the mitre guide for support. Press the dial to confirm the step. Switch on the saw. Perform a cross cut. When doing so, slowly turn the dial to move the saw blade gradually upwards. If the saw blade scratches the waist strip, reduce the height until the zero point is reached. Then the height can be confirmed by pressing the dial once again. If it is required to remove any small offcuts, they can be removed by accessing the saw blade cover flap on the base. To access the area, fix sliding table in rear position and remove the cover plate. Then unlock and swivel the saw blade flap downwards. 
Remove any remaining parts of the workpiece and use an extractor in the area around the saw blade. Once the area is clear, close the saw blade flap and fit the cover plate back into position. The saw accessories can be secured back in the sustainer or the miter guide and rip fence can remain in position ready for the next use. To secure the saw for transport, move the saw blade to the park position by using the control module. Lock the sliding table in position and fold the extension table into the closed position. Place the parallel side fence on the saw in the park position, dough the riving knife with protective cover and the remaining accessories in the lid. The mitre fence can also be attached to the saw when transported in the park position. Close the lid and secure it with the two locking clips. The cordless table saw can be used in conjunction with the mobile trolley for easy transportation to and from site. The mobile trolley when used in conjunction with the cordless saw offers a stable working platform that also supports cutting material in both ripping and cross-cut applications. The underframe offers flexibility to be used upright or close to the floor for convenience. The mobile trolley can also be used as a stable workbench and facilitates the use of festal clamping systems. To keep yourself updated on festival product information and applications, subscribe to our channel below.